So you just got a shiny new computer? Congratulations! Your machine is now as fresh and vulnerable as a newborn gazelle on the African plains. It's time to take some steps to make sure that new device doesn't turn into a dumpster fire. Let's get started. First up, after unboxing your new device, plugging it in and running the normal setup wizard for the operating system, connecting to your Wi-Fi and all that fun, you'll want to install any missing operating system updates or patches. This is very important because God only knows how long that device has been sitting in a box on a shelf somewhere and may have vulnerabilities that make COVID look like a simple case of the sniffles. Check for updates on the machine. Install them, reboot, and repeat that process over and over. One eternity later. Or until the system reports that it's completely up to date. This will fix all those potential problems that have been found while that device was manufactured, boxed, shipped, warehouse sold, and blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. While it may be a shiny new device to you, it's still been in transit, and during that time, you have no idea what vulnerabilities have been found and fixed and what patches need to be installed. Get that machine completely up to date. Secondly, install and update your security software of choice. Yes, that means your antivirus, anti-malware, firewalls, or whole suites of software designed to protect your device, data, and information. You know what we just mentioned about how your device has been in transit for a while? Well, the same goes for the software you either just downloaded or copied from another machine. Even with your freshly downloaded software, it still can be out of date from zero-day vulnerabilities to freshly discovered viruses and malware looking to steal your information. Don't become a victim simply because you didn't properly protect your new device. Security software like locks in your home and car are not only a smart idea, but a necessity. You wouldn't drive a flashy brand new car into the bad section of town, get out, leave the keys in the ignition and the car unlocked, and expect it to be there later now, would you? Well, your new unprotected device is no different. Without the proper safeguards or security software, it's as naked as a wall after holiday shopping. Don't have separate security software to install? Get some. There are plenty of resources out there as well as packages from Semantic and Norton to Trend and others that do a great job of protecting your device. Next, you're gonna want to remove all that extra and unnecessary bloatware from the machine. What do I mean by bloatware? Well, Computer manufacturers, like most people I know, like money. They like money so much that they will make deals with other software companies that if they include their software on every single device they ship out to a new customer, well, that company will just give them X amount of money for every one that they ship out. Woohoo! They do this with as many different vendors, and while it does improve their bottom line, it also puts a whole bunch of crap potentially on your new device that you either don't want or will never use. Make sure to check the installed applications on your new device and see if there's something there that you don't know what it is, don't want, or will never use, and remove it. Your device and startup times will thank you. Next up, prepare and set up your backups and backup schedule. Yes, I know, I've kind of beaten the whole backup thing to death in the past, but I only harp on it because it's that important. Because like it or not, eventually you're going to get your machine infected, or have a crash, have something fail, or accidentally drag that folder of irreplaceable pictures, videos, and recipes into an unrecoverable trash can and want to get that stuff back. For that, you will need, you guessed it, your backups. Do yourself this favor. Set this up right now when you get the device. Think of it like the insurance you get for your car when you buy one. You may never use it, but if you have to, you'll be so happy to have it. I guarantee you there will come a time when you'll need it. Don't be one of those scrambling to see if you ever emailed someone that picture or try to remember what went into your grandmother's secret meatloaf. Configure your backups now. For more information on backups and how to guarantee you'll never lose another piece of data by following my 3 to one backup methodology, take a look at this video right here. Finally, install the apps, programs, games, or whatever other software you want to run. And yes, you guessed it, 
Make sure these are all up to date. All software, no matter where it comes from, requires constant care and feeding. By that, I mean you not only need to install it, but bugs are found, problems come up, vulnerabilities are discovered, and it's the updates released by the developers that correct these issues once they're found. Think of it like that recall for your car that prevents your wheel from falling off when you're going down the highway at 70 miles an hour. Maybe it'll never happen, but what does it hurt just to have it taken care of? Make sure everything is up to date for your peace of mind. Oh, and one last bonus point. Make sure you create separate accounts for the other users that'll be using the device. And if you have children, take a look at those parental controls. Because believe me, if the kids can get into something that they shouldn't, they definitely will. Well, that'll wrap up this episode for today. If you have anything you would like to learn more about, something you wish you knew how it worked, or just any thoughts on this video, go ahead and post them in the comments. I read each and every one and try to respond to them all. If you enjoyed the video, give that thumbs up a nudge to let others know and can find it as well. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, mash that subscribe and notification buttons. That way you don't get passed by the next time I release another bit of grumpy wisdom. This is the Grumpy Sysadmin signing off. And always, stay grumpy.